Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan, if you're new here. Um, I just got my April Azure Standard haul. Uh, everything is set out on my table here. This is a little bit of a smaller haul, but I still wanted to share. You probably hear my baby in the background. He's so cute. So I'll just go through with you guys what I got. So the first thing that I got is so much fun. It's all these little plant starts. And I may just turn the camera around um, at some point, but I got a bunch of different varieties of little plant starts that they have. And something cool about these is that they send them to you a little bit smaller than you could buy them at the store. And that's to ensure that you can grow them up um, to be healthy, full-size plants and that they don't get too big while you're maintaining them indoors to wait for that last frost date. So I'm extra thankful for that because our last frost date, I think it's like May 10th. Um, so these will be totally fine growing indoors. I might actually even plant these in my tower garden that I recently got for my birthday, um, aside from a couple of these. So that will be really fun. Okay, so I got fennel, sage. Um, this is a variety of kale. I got a jade bean plant, parsley, sage, I think I already said that, uh, cilantro, thyme, and this is rainbow Swiss chard, which is so cute. And so, yeah, they all got here in amazing condition, honestly. They do recommend that you pull them out of the box and just acclimate them to indoor weather for a couple days before you try to transplant them to avoid um, just the shock. Uh, there's a word for that, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> so yeah, I plan on, like I said, planting these indoor anyway, so I'll probably do that in the next couple days. But they look really great. I gave them a water when they came out of the box, but they're obviously thriving and beautiful. Okay, and then as far as everything else, I didn't get a ton, but I did get a five pound bag of both sorghum and quinoa flour. I plan to use those for sourdough. And then I got a one pound, or no, 35 ounce um, bag of buckwheat grits. I heard that this is a good substitute for rye flakes when it comes to soaking grains and oatmeal to properly prepare them for digestion. Um, and so I'm excited to try that out. And then I just got a one pound bag of garlic powder, organic garlic powder, and then a one pound bag of dried coconut cream powder, which I'm really excited about just to have on hand to make coconut milk or things like that when we don't have anything fresh. And yeah, then I got a one pound bag of dried apricots just for something sweet and like a little desserty. And lastly, I tried out this ice cream, which confession, I've already eaten it all, my husband and I, um, but it's so good. It's raspberry chocolate chip, grass fed pastured milk, which is really cool. And this was honestly so good and it was just such a fun treat. And so that's my haul for the month of April. I'm excited to get these little seed starts going indoors and then some of them eventually outdoors. So thanks so much you guys for watching this little Azure haul. My little seedling plants, they're so cute. Um, so stay tuned for more videos to come of me planting these guys and getting going on my spring garden. Subscribe if you guys find this content interesting um, and leave a like so I know you like this video. And I'll see you guys in a video soon. Bye.